you know, cut. So that's why, and the thicker you make the paste, the quicker it will be washed. And then you rinse it and make sure you get all the soap off. And how you test it is you hold it under there and if it withdraws like this, it is dirty. If it's dirty, you've got to wash it again. And it usually does take two times to get it good and clean. And once you rinse it, after you rinse it good, and see, this one still will not, it's still withdrawing. So I'm going to have to do it a third time. But it's probably not, you do not need to talk while I'm talking. There, it's better sheeting off. Still not terrific, but better. And then dry it well. And where you're going to put your circle this time is you're going to put it, again, a little bit, you know, on the regular slide, you're going to be put it in a little bit half, past halfway. Uh, this one, you're going to put it about three quarters of the way down. And where do you put the circle? On the bottom. And shouldn't have a blue Sharpie, but I've got a blue one. You've got to use black because some of our stains are blue. And you'll be using your wooden block as sort of a place to put everything. After you put the circle on the bottom side of the slide a little bit down, you're going to get one of these wooden dowels that we put through the autoclave, gather it by the middle, hold it by the middle, and then grit your teeth and go between tooth and gum. Don't get gum. That's epithelial cells. Just get the white plaque, not enough, but, and then smear it, com turn the stick over and over and smear it on the slide. Then add, uh, then add a drop of nigrosin dye, it should be in front, remember hold it by the glass because these tops disintegrate with the stains. Put one drop on top of the circle and with your stick, mix it with the tartar. Then break the stick and quickly grab the second slide and sneak up behind the drop. So you're going to sneak up behind the drop and as soon as you touch the drop, it's going to spread over the whole slide. Then you're going to lower the slide and pull. And if you get stripes like that, that's good. If you get all black, Light won't go through it. So we don't want it to look uniformly black. Now, when you focus it, you're going to try to focus on your little circle, but if it's too dark there, just move to the side where it's lighter. And remember, it's got to be quite a bit lighter for you focus under 10x to turn it to 100. It's going to get blacker. So you're going to let this air dry. While you're letting it air dry, you're going to do the focusing. So let's review the focusing. You are going to get your microscope out and carry it over and you're going to first thing check this little button here, the round wheel, and make sure it's back all the way to you, clicked off. Then you plug it in and then you turn the power 90%. Then you bring the condenser up and open the iris diaphragm almost fully. The stage will, should, will be down and you will put your slide, the, this slide that you already put a drop of oil on, you will put it in the slide holder. It's a hook like this. You're going to slide it in there. If you put it on the edge, it will shoot the slide across the room. So you have to slide it into the cutout. All right, then you're going to use these stage control knobs beneath the stage on the left side and you're going to orient the slot colored portion of the circle that you want to look at directly over the condenser light. Make sure it's not pushing up through the slide, the condenser light, just almost touching. And you're going to click the 10X into place 
and you're going to bring the stage with the course adjustment all the way up. You're then going to set the width for your narrow head. You're going to open it all the way. You're going to put your eyes one and a half inches back and you're going to see two circles. You're going to bring them equally together at the same time until you see one circle. And then you're going to write down that number so you always know what your width is. Then you're going to look through here with your glasses off and the stage all the way up and you're going to turn the big knob until you see something flash. In this case it will be pink because our stain is red. And you will see something that looks like pink sand. If you see one of the white blood cells and you'd like to see what they look like, just put them at the end of the pointer. Anything you're looking at should be at the end of the pointer, completely fine-tuned, and then you're going to take the nose piece ring and take it to the left and swing the oil objective into place and listen to it click. Last, you're going to fine tune under oil and once it's fine tuned under oil then you raise your hand and I'll sign it. Then the next person, I'm going to mess it up and the other partner will fix it. What if you get here at 100 and you can't get it focused with the fine tuning. Go back to 10. Make sure 10 is perfectly focused. Fine, put what you want at the end and swing the oil objective into place and then turn only the little knob until you get the fine tuning into place. And usually it will only take you a little bit. So what do I want from you today? I want you to make the negative stain and let it air dry. While it's air drying, I want you to focus a blood smear from this box. Then, when you both got it focused, you're, one of you is going to put your oil on your little drop and focus your tooth smear, your negative stain, and I'm going to sign it. You can do your drawing whenever you want. Then I'll sign the other person's. And if you do get a good one and you want some uh, points to improve any pop quiz score, email it to hicksmicro at gmail.com and I add up points and give that to pop quiz. So send five, I add five points to your pop quiz score that comes up. Anyone have questions? Yeah. So um, what do we do with the dirty one? We just lay it on the thing? Yeah, you just lay it and later on you wash it and take it home and clean it. And how long does it take to dry the um, Usually 10 minutes. Layer? Like, we did this a long time ago, and it's still not dry. So and you can see it's that. shiny still, so it's not dry. I gotcha. And you don't use a cover slip. You put the oil directly on the slide after the dye has dr dried. For every single stain Good. that we're Thank using, you. 